the deputy de Longueuil. The Honorable Member for Longueuil Saint Hubert. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I am stunned to see how a political agenda from the Liberal Party can contaminate someone like this minister who was at the Assembly of First Nations in British Columbia. Those people are rising to say things are going too quickly. All the provinces are saying the same thing. In Quebec, we've been discussing it very quickly. It's an extremely important topic, and there needs to be a legal framework. Police officers are not ready. It's a shame. How can she rise in this place and tell us that it's not just partisan politics, that it's not just being able to say that they kept this promise. How can she defend this disavowal of her own vision for First Nations and all provinces? Yes. Well, uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, and I appreciate the comments from uh, my colleague across the way. I'm not disavowing any vision with respect to Indigenous peoples. What Bill C-45 does and is committed to do is legalize cannabis, strictly regulate and restrict access to cannabis in order to keep it out of the hands of children and the proceeds out of the hands of criminals. This has been the agenda of this government for two years. We've engaged in substantive discussions right across the country, including within this place. We value the feedback that we've received from members of parliament in this place. Look forward to the discussion that will happen in the other place. With respect to Indigenous communities, we will continue on an ongoing basis to engage with Indigenous communities, um, and we have and will continue to engage with provinces and territories, as well as law enforcement, to ensure that they have the tools necessary in order to meet um, uh, legalization in July of 2018. We have invested significant numbers of dollars to assist the provinces and territories to assist in an education and a public awareness campaign about the harms of cannabis, and we will continue to um, proceed in this manner to ensure in legalization that we have and bear um, the utmost priority of the health and safety of Canadians. That is our commitment to Canadians. Questions and comments? Member.